what was going through your mind when you got to TV and found out that you had to get into the ring and be in a tag team with Colt? Uh, that's crazy for you. And I got to say, you throw a hell of an elbow drop. Thank you. Um, that was years and years of, of doing it into the pool and uh, years of doing it onto the couch with the wrestling buddies. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's it's muscle memory at that point. You, you do it so much as a kid, you, you never forget. Um, <laughs> yeah, Colt had asked me, we were in England, and he was like, you, you think you could do a big splash? And I was like, off the top? And he goes, no, just you know, just run off the rope, bounce off the ropes. Can you run the ropes? I go, yeah. Can you do a big splash? I'm like, I, I can't go forward. Like I can't, like I don't have a, I can't do front bumps. You know, it's just, I never got over, never got over that fear. He goes, all right. You think you can do a leg drop? It's like off the top. And he's like, no, no, just off the ropes and do a leg drop. I'm like, yeah, probably. And I'm like, why are you asking? He's like, I got an idea. And I was like, well, if you're going to have me do a move, I'm coming off the top with an elbow. He goes, he goes, yeah, right. You, no, no way. And I go, I, I, yeah, I could, I could do it. He goes, you ever do it before? No. <laughs> but I'm, <laughs> like, I'm like, that's, that's the one thing I had confidence that I could do. And it just, it literally is from being a kid and just emulating the macho man and, you know, just watching him do it and then doing it to the wrestling buddies. And so we got to the building that night and TK Orion you know, help me climb the ropes. And he, I, I literally remember, you know, I did it to an empty mat off the second rope and he, TK led me up to the top rope and he held my hand and he goes, just close your eyes, stand up straight and don't think about anything. Just, he's, he just kind of had me meditate on the top rope and he goes, you can do this. He's like, he's like, you're, you know, he was, he was a baseball player and he goes, you're a baseball player. Baseball players can do anything. And so I just kind of stood there and meditated and just standing straight on the top turnbuckle is one of the most difficult things I've ever done in my life. Um, it requires ridiculous balance. And, you know, when you see guys do things from the top rope, it should be appreciated way more because I bet you nine out of 10 people cannot ma even maintain their balance just on the top turnbuckle or the top ropes. So he just had me stand up there and then he goes, you want to try it? And I said, sure. And so somebody laid down for me. I forget who at this point, and it really bugs me that I forgot who it was. And it might've been Brian Johnson. And I, I jumped off and I did it. And I was like, oh, I can do this. And so Colt goes, Colt sees it and he goes, you're ready. Don't do it again. Or you, you'll spook yourself. He goes, you did one. Now, you know, you can do it, you know? <laughs> and then, off we went. And then uh, poor Brian Johnson. That's the heaviest I've ever been. I was two, almost 240 pounds. And uh, <laughs> poor Brian Johnson got the brunt of it. 